Okay, welcome. Take me out to the ball game today as we have got a quick show for you today. I had a lot of issues this morning, none that you care about, but uh, I'm going to have to roll right through this really quick one to make sure we still did a show. Uh, College World Series, Vanderbilt beat Mississippi State yesterday. I know a lot of people are not watching it because of what happened to North Carolina State, but still wanted to keep you in the know. So Vandy has a chance to closing it out today. And if you're an NC State fan, I absolutely believe that if they do close it out today, you have a very good argument on why you are the true national champion. So there you have that. Uh, Major League Baseball yesterday. Man. Angels go into the Bronx and beat the Yankees once again. Yankees have lost. They were swept by the Red, Red Sox this weekend. They lose to the Angels. And they've got a big series against the Mets this week in the Bronx. This is the, this is the week they should be getting well against the Angels. Four games in the Bronx, and they, they dropped the first one. Uh, Otani, by the way, slams one out of the building. There you have that. And then Iglesias comes in and has a has a perfect clean inning to uh, end that madness. They fall another game behind the Red Sox. Red Sox win six to five over the Royals. Brewers break up the Brewers. They blow out the Cubs fourteen to four, and now have a very comfortable four four uh, game lead in the central in the loss column and the Cardinals rebounded. They beat the diamondbacks, but they've got to get it together. A lot of people are stressing out about the fact that the diamondbacks uh, are possibly an all time, terrible team. Well, the Cardinals lost three or four to the pirates this weekend. So you don't like that. Uh, Reds, they pound the Phillies 12 to four. Huge, huge game for for the Reds as they will head into a big series. We'll talk about that in one second. Nats beat the Mets. Kyle Schwarber, two more home runs. Holy cow, what he's doing this year, what he's done over the last few weeks has been incredible. Kyle Schwarber said like 14 home runs in the last 14 or 15 days. Unbelievable what he's doing. Today, you got Angels and Yankees once again, Heaney and Tyon. You got the Rays and the Nats start their series, Rich Hill and Ross. Red Sox will continue with the Royals. Braves and Mets, that's a big one. Charlie Morton's on the hill. Cubs and Brewers are back at it again. Woodruff and Davies. And then Marlins, Phillies, don't sleep on that. Trevor Rogers is 208 ERA, but he is yet is only 7-4 on the season. Unbelievable. Uh, with the Marlins, but Trevor Rogers, very fun pitcher to watch if you get a chance to watch him. And uh, Padres and Reds begin today. Snell versus Centillion. So there you have that. If you're looking for a good pitching matchup, Maeda, Giolito, White Sox, Twins at 810 Eastern. In the National Basketball Association, the NBA playoffs, we're getting close to the finals. And what you have there is the Suns going down yesterday. They lost to the Clippers, so that's going to go to a game number six tomorrow night in Los Angeles. Could force the game seven back in Phoenix on Friday night. Bucks, Hawks, the big news there. Trey Young's going to be a game time decision. Bruised foot, could barely walk the other night. He's going to try to give it a go, and so it's going to be key to whether or not he goes or not is going to be key w- whether or not the Hawks have a chance in this series. Without Trey Young, I just don't think they have a shot in hell. He is the guy that makes him go on offense. In the NHL, the Stanley Cup playoffs began yesterday, and the Tampa Bay Lightning smoked the Montreal Canadiens. But remember, we've seen this before for Montreal in these playoffs where they start out really slow, and then they get it figured out. And by game two, by game three, you got a different series. They will be off tonight, but tomorrow night they'll be back on the ice for that. So there you have that. And a little bit of news to, uh, to hit you with. LSU 
starting left tackle Rosenthal. He's entering the the uh, transfer portal. Essentially, what Ed Ogeron, head coach of LSU, said was for personal reasons, and he is going to be dearly missed. But they're they are respecting his decision to to leave the program. So th- that's devastating. When your starting left tackle takes off just a couple of months before kickoff of the 2021 season. And then you also have the Wimbledon going on right now. And of course they just got started. It's we're just a couple of days into this, which obviously is a two week affair over in London, England. But what you're looking at there is no real big upsets yet. We'll keep you posted on that. Don't have time to go through the litany of how many games are played over there. But as we get, as we inch closer to the end of Wimbledon, we'll do much more coverage on that. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Take me out to the ball game today and uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully a little more organization will be, we'll be back as uh, we had some uh, major issues this morning, but everything's all right. We'll see you tomorrow. on take me out to the ball game today. Take me out to the ball game.